OK, uh, so now let's talk about the design considerations. Um, actually, so we have uh, mentioned this one earlier uh, in our previous lectures so that the falsies of the date visualization, so that is from the Jeff Schaffer's uh, falsies, so clear, clean, um, concise, and um, captivating. So clear, so who is the audience and what is a message. So clarity of the message is more important than attracting <coughs> or aesthetics. Um, clean, so they are all things that we discussed in the previous, um, those are all the things that we've discussed in our previous lectures. So that dealing with uh, grid lines, labels, use of colors, etc. Concise, so brief but um, comprehensive. Okay, and captivating. So does the visualization capture attention? Uh, does it tell an interesting story or does it provide user with an interesting analysis? Okay, uh, so and again, keep it simple, so concise. So what is the user and also know your audience. Um, we may have heard uh, this principle of KISS, K-I-S-S, -S, so keep it simple, stupid, uh, but about keeping it simple. So this is a quote that from the uh, Edward Tafter's approach to data visualizations. Um, okay, so this is out Edward uh, Tafter's approach that uh, he coined the term uh, chart junk and adv advocate that removing the chart junk okay but even further he wrote about the date to ink ratio okay date to ink ratio so uh, which comprise the ink on the page associated with the date to all the ink uh, on the page so the concept is here is to remove ink from the visualization that is not associated with the date, with the data. Okay, and he even outlines the steps for erasing the non data ink and also even the redundant dig in through an entry, um, iterative process. So, like above all, show the data, uh, maximize the date ink ratio, erase non date ink. Erase redundant take ink and revise and add it. So this is probably an one example that how we can increase the date ink ratio. Okay, <clears throat> like reduce colors, uh, remove specific effects. Okay, and we saw this one earlier, so, but I just want to highlight it again that keep it simple. <clears throat> so that is one of the major uh, date visualization design consideration. So and also less is more. Okay, so this is an example that of the bar chart with high date to ink ratio. You can see there are no grid lines, no y axis lines, and the chart has been stripped off the non date ink. Okay, so you may think, okay, so is that really good or, or necessary? Okay, so this is another example that taking it to the extreme. So here, this is another extreme example using a scat plot. Okay, where you can see X and Y has been converted from lines into strip plots of the data, showing the distribution of the points in the scat plot. Um, well, the x and y axis are now data, so they could certainly be confusing. Okay, and if the audience is a general public, so then a scatter plot may be difficult in, in its normal form, and this version complicated, complicates the view even more and will require a very sophisticated reader and lots of annotations around how to read and also interpret this type of chart. Okay, so it, it's kind of like we need to find out the balance between the simple and also easy to understand. 
OK, um, and also concise but brief. OK, meaning that uh, it is OK. To, so uh, Schaffer believed that it is OK to have redundant information in the visualization. So it is OK to double code, uh, to double encode the data. So that finding, so it is about finding the sweet point uh, between uh, uh, simplest and also easy to understand, comprehensive. OK, so it's uh, find out the sweet point between brief and also comprehensive. So this is an example that was printed on the house floor by the Repub Republicans to show the complexity of the Democrat health care plan. OK, uh, so they may have recognized this wasn't easy to read. OK, so they added comments. OK, which make it e even harder to understand. OK, so this is also a diagram that organizes the process flow of a, a department and also client. So each process outlines and there is a small circle with a number of collecting it to the step to a, to a step action table. And in each step, uh, the process, we can see who is responsible. OK, part and also what the next step are in the process. OK, so this can also be encoded with data so that for example, the colors and also even small charts. This is another example that uh, a network diagram. OK, so as a general said that when we understand the, the slide, we have won the wall. OK. And also, who is the audience and what is the message that you want to send? OK, so let's look at this example. So this is a food expenditure for one week in different countries. OK, so the expense is one country is $500. Another one is $30. We can also rotate this uh, chart, bar chart. That's pretty clear. OK, but now I'm going to show something that is completely different. OK, so here is a Germany. And here is the Edward. OK, so now you can see that uh, I could show you this data using a different number of visualization methods. But you wouldn't walk out this class saying, OK, so the professor showed me this bar chart. But you will likely remember those images. <clears throat> OK. And also, who is audience? Again, what is the message? So some examples of the data visualization, visualization for cause. Uh, so this is the. Um, the data visualization that project partnered between PASS and also Tableau. So this is one example that used data as a way to understand the combat of the disease and also informing public health effort. OK. So as, as I said, we know we could gain better and more insight out of the data by using the data visualizations. And this is the visualization talking about gun deaths in the new United States. And this is the video, actually. And for more about the uh, visualization, and you can always uh, you can also check this website. Okay, so people being killed and also stolen year. Okay, so that's a date from 2018, and you can check this website uh, to see more of those visualizations. So this is a visualization that on global warming. Okay, our Earth is a warmer place 
than ever before. Okay, again, another very great data visualization design. Okay, so this is a visualization of the Kakapo, I think. Okay, and as the author said that uh, I am a strong believer that effective data visualization is an essential science communication tool. Okay, but too often scientists don't think it is important. All use tools that make good visualization difficult to achieve. So the ability to quickly explore our data visually is very important, is vital to ensuring that our conversation management of those endangered species is as effective as it can be. Okay, so here we, let's zoom in and also look at the visualization in the detail. 